Hello everyone, it's me A Samari welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial that is realistic and simplistic actually. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first, going to this one, uh, I'm using the Illustrator 2022 and going to the file and taking new options. From here, I'll take 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and giving the name Delta logo and hit the create button after making that so going to here going to the shape tool and polygonal tool select once write down three and giving here like 300 and hit ok ok after that increase the thickness of the stroke like this that's good turn off the fill color and going to the stroke and making this one into middle that's fine going to the direct selection tool and making this one a little bit like this so we already got that but I'll rotate this one a little bit so like that not too much like a little bit of uh, rotation uh, here like 26 degree 26 degree is good for me okay that's fine a 25 degree it could be it depends on uh, how the rotation you want to be actually that is uh, like a, like a flask and in a lab you are getting this type of flask and the shape of this flask is like that okay that's fine and the text actually I'm using here some two combination of the text one is this and one is a little bit of round type so here I'm just selecting all the stops and making this one is into middle of the artboard making this one a little bit of bigger and a from the keyboard making this one a little bit round again okay at first I have to do this one into like uh, objects or expand going to the object and expand this one after making this one expand it's no longer uh, it will no longer uh, into the stroke mode it will be in a like fill mode that's good I'm rotating this one yeah that's actually good okay now I'm going to here that is the freeform gradient and select once after selecting that you'll get some point here 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 so I'll fill it up actually like this and like this and like this from here and like this actually different types of colors and the swatch you can use that would be nice so if we go to the rectangle tool and taking the rectangle 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and making this one into the downside of the layer and make this one into the black color positioning into the middle of the artboard that's good now we are getting the logo like that that is highlighted and now time to add some text making the text size bigger so making this one white and going to any any sort of font so here delta lab press the shift and hold it making this one a little bit of bigger I think that's good and I'll make this one a little bit smaller that's fine and it should be middle of this nice and over here I'll write down something from other types of fonts here is uh, like poppins font I'll take the lighter one and making the font size according to the golden ratio by pressing the slash that means the divided by 1.6 and two times actually divided by 1.6 that's good and now we'll write down something like uh, our motto or mm, it could be the uh, tagline like this so we do create something unique okay we do
okay we do create something that's fine i'll suggest you to make this one a little bit smaller like that yeah that's good that's nice and making this one group this one group as well and making this one into middle now like decoration like this how to do that it's really easy selecting this and making this one controller command v making this one a little bit of bigger make it white and the opacity only like a 13 percent that's good and here is our rectangle actually the square shape control c and control f making this one into upper side and right press and make clipping mask that's good I suggest you to keep this one into the upper side of this if you want you can make the opacity like 8% uh, or 7% so totally subtle type I'm going to the file and place embedded here you can add some photo like this so thematic photo okay adding like that and placing into the downside of the layer and now I'll uh, I'll make the opacity like a 98% that's nice so control C and control F making only stroke over here and make clipping mask sending it to the downside of the layer and your presentation is ready if you want you can make this one too much subtle like 5% opacity yeah that's fine and you can make the logo bigger like this so your presentation of the logo is ready you can make this type of logo easily if you want you can play with the triangle actually and you can play with the direct selection tool and the corner round session all the steps are amazing and making the fun like that so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share it to your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video asmr signing out today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye